Lord of Chaos here, with another one. Alright guys, Lord of Chaos here, we got some news from the team. So, um, Heron of Bones is now being called Wyvern on Warzone, as most of you already know. And, um, when it comes to the rewards, I'm pretty sure you guys have mainly seen all of the new rewards with regards to that. I'm going to uh, release a hero video as soon as I get all the data I'm trying to gather and that will hopefully help some of you guys who are going to get the um, hero's chest to make your decision on what hero you should get. So be on the lookout for that. But in terms of the new update, which is 3.15, which will be dropping tomorrow, they're basically making the Spectre Raid more interactive, which, oh, I can't stand Spectre Raid. Like, I was so happy that we had just automated it so you didn't have to do anything really. And I'm hoping that this new counterattack phase that they're adding to make it much more interactive is not going to be too demanding. Okay. And I hope but I can't see in this uh, newsletter that the uh, event has been shortened because Spectre Raid takes roughly two hours at the moment, which is way too long. And I do not want to be counter-attacking AI for two hours. This is ridiculous. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens um, when Spectre Raid drops next week, but um, I'm not too excited about this counter-attack phase because i never really liked spectre raid it was just great for the um rewards but you know actually engaging in the content i really didn't care about it and talking about engaging in ai content uh you know we're not going to be getting any aquanauts next week we're going to be getting the uh the bishops and all of that crap back again so um hopefully they've adjusted the rewards this time around but if it's exactly the same, uh, you know how it is. Anyway, so the Spectre Raid is going to have a counter-attack phase uh, added to the game now. The UI is going to be updated as well. And um, it improves the uh, pop-up notification once 3.15 drops, okay? Um, in terms of your dragons, you'll be able to... Uh, feed them more and you'll be able to refresh more times okay this is the big one we all love wow this is what we look forward to every single week wow is the you know greatest event in stormshot at the moment lord of tides and heron and bows are good but they're way too buggy but wow is like literally what's carrying the game and they're looking to make some adjustments to it so there's going to be a new Guardian of Glory. So the longer you hold one particular landmark, you're going to make more points. OK, so after 10 minutes, the points are going to increase by 50 percent per minute, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. And then on top of that, each participant on the winning side Will get an additional 20% added to their final solo point score. So this is going to help your guys who are, who spend most of the match within the safe zone, for example. So if they can get, you know, a little 400k, then that's really going to boost up their number by another 80,000. You know what I mean? I don't like the fact that it's only 20%. It would have been nice if it was a higher percentage because then it would incentivize people more to be in the safe zone because there's a lot of um, battles we're having at the moment where the teams are just so much stronger that a lot of castles can't really be on the field because it's not safe for them. And there needs to be some incentive for players who can't get on the field to still, you know, join in with this event. Because at the moment, I don't really think 20% is cutting it. But I can understand what they're trying to do. But I don't think really 20% is going to cut it. Anyway, um, 
they're also looking to bulk up or at least i hope bulk up the tavern heroes so felicity uh, tamir leo frick peggy and conrad are going to have greater improvements to their skill effect it would be nice if instead of um i don't know if they're going to send out Ducey again because they um said they were going to send out Ducey, but they ended up sending out felicia i wonder if they're going to send out peggy because free to play players can't actually get peggy up <laughs> it would have been nice if they actually sent peggy out <laughs> instead of felicia but um yeah it would be nice if they did that but it looks like they're trying to compensate for the fact that pay to win players have a lot more better heroes by giving the guys who are low spenders and free to play players um better improvements uh, to their tavern heroes so that's what that looks like there so there's also going to be improvements to the display of interactive icons while zooming in on a kingdom map view optimizes to a hero roster interface and uh, optimizing the display of the treasure blitz icon treasure blitz oh this is for uh new kingdoms i haven't seen treasure blitz in ages that's such an old event that's um on the lead up to uh kvk and then lastly we've got um some bug fixes for the oh man crazy tide archbishop and crazy tide priest tide crisis event i hate this event i hate this event with a passion i, I can't believe this is coming back if it comes back it better have some better rewards i'd have preferred aquanauts tomorrow um fixes the potential incorrect display of item positions in the vip store page fixes the issues with the event center the icons on the preview page of some event rewards were incorrect okay fixes the incorrect display of the red dot when others apply to join private chat rooms in the chat room interface all right didn't really see a problem with that fixes the overly long loading times when viewing others estate don't really do that fixes the error of incomplete display of lord talents on ipads fixes the error that occasionally occurs when starting up heroes after using diy packs in the hero interface okay so that's pretty much all that's coming to a uh, 3.15 so the main takeaways are the revamp to war of waters the changes that they're going to make to the OG Tavern Heroes and um, definitely the Spectre Raid event is going to be more interactive moving forwards. So that has been your Stormshot news. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. All the best next week and um, catch you on the next one. Lord of Chaos out. All right. Bye. ありがとうございます。